Chapter 1 I'm not angry, just disappointed. Mission Log Soul 5114 AOS Undefined Message Received Source Null See? Do you feel that? It's a magic response! It can hear me! It answers! Partial command recognized. Answer. Message sent. Ping. Yes, I suppose I can feel it. A dubious Twilight Sparkle acknowledged. But it could also be that it's built with some magic conducting metal and what you hear is the thematic resonance from your own smell. Starlight shook her head vehemently. It's more than that. I know it. Then what did it just say? Starlight blushed and began to dig her hoof into the ground. Well, it's been harder than I thought, fine-tuning the translation matrix, and, uh, um, and... Twilight waved her on. The unicorn looked this way and that, trying to think of a good way to explain it, or perhaps for Twilight to move on without pressing for an answer. But Twilight Sparkle was no longer a student. She was a princess, and, more importantly... A teacher, and she'd perfected that long, silent stare that could force an answer out of any student a long time ago. I think it just said ping, okay? Starlight blurted, her cheeks becoming even redder. Ping. Twilight deadpanned. Oh, well, if that's the case, then I totally see why you would risk ripping the hole in two universes, altering time and space, or just plain blowing up the roof you sleep under. After all, now you have a machine that goes ping! She finished with a flourish of sarcasm. Why are you so mad at me? Starlight asked defensively. Do you not see what this could mean? All this discoveries to be made? I'm not angry, Starlight. Just disappointed. After what we've been through, I thought you knew better than the haphazardly experiment with transdimensional magic. I knew what I was doing. Starlight protested. Then amended when given a raised eyebrow. I had a pretty good idea of what I was doing. Look, it was calling out for help. I had to do something. Twilight began to rub her temple with one hoof. <sighs> something could have involved finding me first so you could do your experiment safely. Getting talked out of it, you mean? You never believed me in the first place. Well, there! She jabbed a hoof at the Mars Exploration Rover, standing proud, if dented and dusty, in one of the castle's myriad broom closets that Starlight had long ago converted into her personal workshop. There stands your proof. I'm not crazy. This isn't about being crazy or being right. Twilight insisted, her voice rising slightly. This is about you being reckless. You have this really bad habit of not thinking things through. Starlight scoffed. Yeah, right. Like you're one to talk. Without even realizing it, Twilight began flapping her wings, hovering in the air within the small room. Meanwhile, Opportunity stood and listened, not to the ensuing shouting match since it had no equipment to record sound, but it was overdue for a check of its surroundings. Attempting to read Tau level. Unable to get direct reading. Attempting to read Lux level. 10.8. Twilight. Cleaning event detected. Solar panel efficiency rising. Attempting to read temperature. 23 degrees Celsius. Within operational safety margin. Message sent. My battery is charging, and it's getting brighter. Starlight blinked, having just felt a message come through along with a wave of what felt like... happiness? Are you listening to me? Twilight demanded, her wing flaps increasing in frequency, which, unbeknownst to her, cleaned off the rover solar panels and allowed it to vigorously suck up what little light came through the lone window into its hungry circuits. <sighs> Why are you so on my case about this? Starlight asked, the curious moment forgotten and having been brought back to the argument with her teacher. You want to know why? Twilight was now all but screaming. The gusts from her alicorn wings were blowing away the last of the dust, revealing the deep ocean blue of Opportunity's solar panels. I'll tell you why. It's because I don't appreciate waking up to my friend lying unconscious on my roof. It's because I don't relish the thought of my first student ever blowing herself up 
while I'm asleep two stories away and unable to help her! Starlight was visibly taken aback, her mouth hanging open and her lower lip trembling. Did you even consider what would have happened if your spell had failed? Twilight's sparkle grated between clenched teeth, though her anger was subsiding. She landed, catching her breath and wiping away a tear from the corner of her eye. That much power. If your calculations had been off by just a fraction, the magic backlash could have disintegrated you on the spot. I... Twilight, I... I... I didn't... I didn't think... No, clearly you didn't. <sighs> Twilight interrupted then sighed deeply and closed her eyes. The ensuing silence was palpable, until Starlight began quietly, I'm... sorry. I didn't mean to scare you like that. Twilight nodded. <sighs> I'm sorry too. She stepped forward and draped a wing around Starlight's shoulders. I should have been there for you. Supported you. Then you wouldn't have felt like you had to do this by yourself. So please, in the future, no more flying solo, no more half-baked ideas. From now on, you take a partner when you study that thing. Starlight's head came up sharply. Study it? You... you mean... Twilight smiled. <laughs> yes, of course. I'm gonna let you continue. What? Did you think I'd forbid it? This might be the biggest discovery in equestrian history. She motioned towards the rover with a wing. And it's your discovery. You saved it. Starlight nodded. <sighs> Thank you, Twilight. I'll get started tomorrow. For right now, it feels like I've pushed all my friends away as I got increasingly obsessed with this rover over the last few days. How does tea with the girls sound? That sounds lovely, Starlight. And after that... Let's see if I can help you with that translation matrix. As the two mares left the room, the not-so-little rover, out of that resided next to equines roughly its own size, rather than surrounded by the vast emptiness of Mars, happily concluded its readings while the power surged through its copper veins. Undefined LOS. Message sent. My battery is charging, it's getting brighter, and I feel warm. Failsafe mode engaged. Powering down non-essential systems. <laughs>